Today we're comparing the Sony Action Cam HDR AS15 to a Chinese Econ H9 high resolution action camera. In the full 170 degree view, Sony seems to be a little bit wider than the Econ camera. I'm changing the Sony to 120 degree view for less distortion. Here is an indoor comparison in indoor lighting with the Sony and the Econ. The Econ seems to be much brighter and sharper, but if you take a look at the still, there's a lot more noise coming from the Econ camera compared to the Sony. Indoors, the Econ seems to be much brighter, much clearer than the Sony in color and contrast and, and detail. But the Sony is a lot smoother with less noise and artifacts. Outside, the Econ is not performing well in bright light. The sky is blown out on that camera, while in the Sony on the right, the, you can still see the blue color in the sky. The Econ is much sharper than the Sony, but the Sony is a lot smoother of a picture. You can notice how sharp the ripples of the water are on the Econ camera compared to the Sony. Here is another comparison side by side so you can see the two cameras. The Sony on top and the Econ is on the bottom. With the Econ camera they really push the levels all the way so they would create the maximum amount of sharpness in the camera. The Econ is a little bit too sharp and overexposed. The exposure cannot be adjusted or controlled inside the camera. Again, this is the same shot in full frame, the Sony AS15 Action Cam performs very well in natural daylight. With the Action Cam, it's nice that you can adjust the uh, wide angle to 120 degrees to uh, minimize the wide angle distortion. And the Econ, again, same shot in full frame, is very sharp, but the exposure is blown out. Notice how the wide angle is distorted on the Econ as we pan up and the background sky and boats in the back are blown out and overexposed. Now we're going to switch over to the Sony and look at the same shot. There's less distortion since it's in 120 degrees and the background and sky is not overexposed. There's a lot more detail and color there. The Sony Action Cam is a better comparison to a GoPro camera. Here again is the same exact shot side by side the Econ on the left and the Sony on the right. The Sony is a much smoother camera and doesn't produce that noise inside the water as the Econ does. This was filmed on a gray overcast cloudy day and the uh, lighting was pretty much even and the result should have been much better. Here the Econ does not balance itself in this lighting condition and overexposes uh, lighter areas while the Sony maintains a more stable picture and a much smoother tone. Here's another comparison and again the Econ on the left and the Sony on the right. Econ is just overexposing the background. Um, Sony is handling the light much better. The Econ is also being too sharp and creating a lot more noise in the picture and there's no setting in the camera to be able to regulate it. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Now we'll do um, some moving shots where we're walking with the camera to see if there's any uh, jitters in the picture. We're taking a look at the rolling shutter, make sure there's no lags, and both cameras perform well. We want to take a look at the focusing capabilities as we move closer to plants, and there's no problems with either camera. Now we're going to uh, switch back and forth between the Econ and now the Sony camera with the same shot. Biggest difference here that you notice right away is the exposure. The Econ here is overexposed, the sky is just blown out. The foreground is more uh, lighter, it's more sensitive to lower lighting, while the Sony is more natural, it's darker, the, the, the sky is proper exposure. And as we jump back and forth, you can see the uh, two cameras with the same shot and notice the uh, difference. As far as sharpness between the two cameras, they both seem to be about the same sharpness uh, between the two cameras. Again, the Econ is just more light sensitive, so the colors are a bit washed out. The Sony is deeper and richer in color, and since the Econ is so bright, 
you're getting a lot more noise and ringing. With the Sony, you still have noise, but you don't notice it as much because its picture is darker, the exposure is down. The Econ camera is a nice package. It comes with many accessories, a lot of adapters. Uh, you don't have to buy anything. Everything is just included. With Sony, they include a couple of adapters and um, it's just not as packaged as nicely as the Econ. And here, as we're moving along, the um, again, the Econ is just overexposing. And you see on the Sony here, same thing overexposed there, but now we're coming in. The, there's a uh, fogging on the case, so now the Sony is getting too fogged up. The Econ did not fog like the Sony did. The Sony case fogged up. I didn't notice it when I was shooting till after I got into post-production here. And um, here you can really see how the Sony case fogged up. There is a special cleaner that they give you with the Sony to, um, to apply to the lens to avoid that fogging inside the case. And here it is again. You can see the fogging in the Sony. But this is just to show you how the sharpness is. They're, they're both equally sharp when you're uh, bringing up images very close up to a uh, macro level. From here we're just going to run the Econ camera for about three minutes with various shots so you can see how it performs with sunlight, various lightings, moving shots, panning shots to get a better idea of how the Econ uh, would look in after post-production.